happy Friday, end of the week. And the last day that we'll consider, Matthew 4, 4, he answered, it is written, man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Every word. Can't pick and choose which words we're going to depend on. We need to stay in the word of God. Genesis to Revelation, all of it. As a matter of fact, in John chapter 4, verses 31 and 32, this is the account where Jesus meets a woman at the well. And so Jesus has made this journey through Samaria, and, and he meets the, the disciples are with him. Uh, they go off to town. I used to, when I was preaching this, I said they went to town to get tacos. It's a Taco Bell theme, sorry. But anyway, while the disciples are in town getting food, Jesus meets this woman in the well. Well, when she hears about the Messiah and he teaches her about himself, she leaves the disciples return with food. They tell Jesus, eat something. Jesus says, I have food that you don't know. That's an interesting insight right there. Jesus is, is obviously all man, all God. He gets hungry. God allowed the disciples to be away while Jesus had this meeting with the Samaritan woman so that he could share the kingdom with her. So Jesus is teaching her about the kingdom, about the Messiah. He's teaching her the gospel message of life and abundant life. And yet all of a sudden we find out Jesus feeds off of kingdom work. Does he eat? Sure he eats. He eats with his disciples. Matter of fact, after the resurrection, he asked for fish. He ate bread. He broke bread and passed it out to him at the, at the uh, Lord's Supper meal. You see, what is the interesting insight? Jesus indicates that God's word is more important than anything the world can provide, even water in a desert countryside. You see, he was meeting this, this woman at a well. She came in the heat of the day to draw water because she didn't want the, the persecution of her neighbors. See, I've known situations where God provided food miraculously. You know, we prayed for some provision and, and God used some means to provide food. Sunday mornings when I'm preaching, I don't notice hunger. I don't notice that I'm hungry. So is there a hard and fast rule in this, this verse? I don't know. Here's what I know and I want to remind you of how we finished yesterday. I want to consume and need God's more then I need Taco Bell, okay? I want to feed on God's Word in such a way that I'll stop and order four of whatever it is in God's Word rather than the four tacos at Taco Bell. Hmm. Remember, Matthew 4.4 4 says, He answered, It is written, Man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. See you next week.